Hey Kel Cats, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kelsey Davies. I am here with my dad, Outdoors PD. Make sure you guys are subscribed to him. We are going on a road trip with Lola. He's he's not very happy I brought her. <laughs> He's like, can you not bring her? I was like, I have to. So we're gonna go on a haunted road trip. We're gonna try to find some haunted locations to film at and just hang out and bring you guys along for the ride. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> just chilling on my lap. I didn't know where to put her. It's like, if I put her in the back, she might fall. But if I put her on my lap, then what if I fall asleep and she falls down or something? I don't know. She seems like she's just chilling, so that should be good. Right. Right. <laughs> we are about to cross the border to uh, Nevada, and we were just stuck in traffic for how long? Like an hour? Yeah. That was awful. There were so many cars on the side of the road just pulled off because they overheated because it was 120 degrees. Now it's like 108, I guess. Not like as bad, but it's still really hot. We're gonna go and see, Omar actually sent me a location and it's the Skinwalker Caves. And we're gonna see if we can find them maybe. Maybe we'll go now or tonight. I don't know, we're seeing how hot it is pretty much. We don't wanna be roasting there. So we're gonna check those out and see what happens, I guess. So we're looking for the Skinwalker Caves. I guess this is the old abandoned house. Rip Jeff. We were gonna stop here and see, but I don't know, it's kind of weird. There was actually like a graveyard up here too. I don't know if it's just the local graveyard, like what it is. There it is. See it? That's so weird. Yeah, it's like a little graveyard. Turn right, onto East Standing Valley Road. And I guess the caves are this way. Found the caves. Oh. We had to FaceTime Omar and he had to help us find it and then we lost connection. But right when we lost connection, we found the caves. Make sure you guys are subscribed to Omar, by the way. He's a homie. He really helped us today. I don't know if we would have found them. Ooh, this is creepy. There's a mini one. Here they are. So cool, I wonder how deep they go. This place is so haunted, it's really creepy. I'm gonna explore these caves a little bit. My dad didn't really bring the right shoes, so he's just gonna hang out around here, I guess. <laughs> it's a plane. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> it sounded like someone was like moaning. All right, guys, I hope you're ready for this adventure. It's 108 degrees out here. Give that like button a nice little tap and let's get started. <laughs> The other one looks like you kind of have to crawl through it. All right. If you guys see or hear anything, please let me know. I'm basically by myself right now. Whoa. So apparently this was an old mine shaft. So these are known as the Skinwalker Caves because people have seen skinwalkers here. I don't know how far I'm gonna be able to go. I don't wanna go too far because it doesn't look very safe down there. We were gonna come here at night, but I thought we might as well just like explore in the day. We could see a little better maybe. Whoa, it's so cold in here. Holy crap, the temperature dropped like five degrees at least. Whoa. So skinwalkers are basically shapeshifters, apparently. 
So any animals in here, I guess could be one. I don't know if I believe it or not, but. Dude, this is creepy as heck. As I'm getting to the end, it just keeps getting colder and colder. I keep hearing like a woman talking. Whoa. It just keeps going. I don't even know where my dad is. I think he's way up there somewhere. I can't believe I'm doing this by myself. It sounds like someone's walking. Dude, it's way too quiet. Oh my Maybe I'll use the Necrophonic app right now because we can't stay here too long just because there's just because my dad's getting a little sketched out out here. Okay. What spirits are here with me? Beside you? These all sound so like creepy. Are there skinwalkers in here? was really clear. I heard help me and go home. Am I in danger here? What the heck was that? Dude, I feel like the bad energy here, it's not good. Whatever's here is not good. I just heard my name. I literally just heard my name. Who's here with me? Bill. I heard leave me alone. Do you want me to leave? I just heard like a rock. Like it just fell out of nowhere. Yes. Was that you? Yes. Yeah? Yeah? What? Okay, my dad doesn't want me to go farther. getting all sketched out. He doesn't get a good feeling here either. All right, I made it to the top. That was so creepy. Look at that. I just came from 
from up there. It was so eerie in there. Let me know if you guys want me to come back here at night with more people probably because my dad does not like us being alone here. <gasps> is that a bone? What is that? Oh, it's a stick. Oh my God. I thought it was a bone. <sighs> my father's being very fatherly and he doesn't want me to go far in here. Now we're done exploring that. We're heading back, or we're heading to the hotel, I think, and to get some food, because we hungry. It's really hot. Ooh, I gotta tell Omar we got here, because he probably, <laughs> my signal cut off and I, I didn't find it on there, so my text didn't go through either. Yeah, I didn't like it in there. I felt like, it felt just evil in there, and I got a lot of really creepy voices on the Necrophonic app. I did not like that. Um, but I definitely would go back there to do another video with more people so that we're not ah, so we're safe guys so apparently there is a room full of baby dolls i don't know if they're haunted or what but maybe those were the voices coming through on the necrophonic app because there were a lot of them let me know if you guys want me to go back there one day and go to the baby doll room because I really want to see that. Uh, Omar went there. He told me that I could put this in the video. Look, there's dolls. There's dolls are up here. Oh my gosh. What? Oh, look at this one over here. What? Oh. No, right there. God, I thought there was another one. So Cryptid was saying that these dolls will sometimes move. That's so crazy. That would have been, I don't know if Lola would have like liked it or not. Because she's like a doll. I don't know. Lola could have made some new friends in there. <laughs> I don't think I would have wanted her to make friends with those baby dolls though, I don't know. So we're gonna go get something to eat. I've actually never like really gambled in Vegas. I did like a penny machine one time, but maybe I'll do some gambling a little bit. I don't know, we'll see. But I haven't really experienced the 21-ness, so I'm 22 now and I'm almost 23 in five days from when I'm filming this video, September 10th, by the way. I think I'm gonna eat at this restaurant. It looks really good, I don't know, it looks fancy. It's a little pricey, but I'm down. It brings a I'm in the bathroom so I don't wake up my dad. I'm actually like scared right now. I don't know if something followed me from the skinwalker caves or if there's something in my hotel room. I have no idea. So I had this dream. It was so disturbing. It was like all these buildings blowing up and I had to escape and it was just awful. But it was so horrifying and so disturbing that I woke up so abruptly from a panic attack because I have an anxiety disorder and I bolted to the bathroom because that's what happens. And I come back and this drawer is open. I don't know when it opened. I don't know why it's open, but it's open. I took a picture for proof because I was freaking out. And then I look down to see if Lola's doing okay and she's face down. I took another picture for proof. 
And on top of all that, it's 3 a.m. But anyways, I asked Lola some questions um, using the dowsing rods. That's also on my TikTok. I'll put a clip of that in too. Lola, is there another spirit here in this hotel room? Cross for yes, open for no. It's moving like that. Yes. Lola, was it you who flipped your doll on its face last night? No. Should I be worried? Am I in danger? No. Okay, good. <sighs> oh my god. And we got some Subway. I love Subway. Healthy, some healthy-ish. And now we are headed to Utah. some uh, Chinese food it was so freaking good and I'm hanging out with this cat so she's trimmed like a freaking lion it's a lion cat hashtag lion cat she's so sweet though look at her little paws oh my goodness I'm in love with this lion cat I can't <laughs> Stop being cute. Why are you so cute? Yeah, we're just hanging out, drinking a little bit. Um, we played foosball. That was so intense. We played pool. We played darts. We just had a bunch of fun. So we're just hanging out, talking outside. And I keep coming in and <laughs> petting the cat because Kel Cat, hello. Yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. We're just we're just chilling. So nothing nothing crazy to miss out on. So I decided to just enjoy the road trip. My dad and I had a lot of fun. We bonded a lot. We didn't go anywhere else haunted, but I'm glad that we got to stop at the Skinwalker Caves. We did stop by Calico on the way back, but my camera was freaking dead, so that sucked. So I couldn't even film there, but I mean, I've already filmed a video there, so you guys know I'll be back there anyways, but I'm glad to be home with little Tito. Hi, buddy. Oh, thank you. And then there's Luna, chilling on the chair down there. Wow. Oh, did you miss mommy? They haven't left me alone since I got home. So update on my week, we celebrated my birthday, had all my friends over, it was so much fun. It was like one of the best birthdays ever. And I got a freaking drone, guys. Look how cool. I'm so excited, I'm still learning to fly it. I think I got the hang of it. Um, I'm gonna keep these little guards on though because I don't wanna like crash it or anything. But it's so cool, my parents got it for me. So thank you, mom and dad. And on top of that, we're almost to 100K on here. On top of that, we're almost to 1 million Kelcats on TikTok, which is astronomical. Like, I don't know, it's like crazy, guys. I, I swear if TikTok gets banned, I'm gonna be pissed, but it's such a milestone for me and I am so freaking grateful for you guys. It's, it's insane, it's just crazy. I can't even believe this is happening. You guys are honestly making my dreams come true and I thank you for that. I've worked so freaking hard since I was 18 on social media, building it all up and it's finally paying off and I'm just, oh. I can't believe it. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, yeah. You're not allowed in here. You're not allowed in there. But anyways, I'm sorry this is like a shorter vlog. I did post a really long video before this one, the one at Mackie's house, so make sure you guys check that out. I was somewhere really creepy last night, so I have uh, so much content coming for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Also, hit that notification bell so that you guys know when I post and I will see you guys in my next video.